All right, here's the HTL I'm listed on eBay. It's a 1972 Kawasaki H2, clear title, South Carolina. Uh, the frame is a 72, the motor is a 73. Uh, instrument panel, I'm not sure. Uh, everything looks uh, pretty much like it should on this bike, except for I know for a fact the motor and frame are different numbers. The turn signals work, the tail light works. The pipes are aftermarket, but they are almost perfect, not 100% perfect. The paint job has been done not too long ago. Nice clear paint on it. A couple really, really minor dings, but you would have to go out of your way to find them. Uh, new tires. I uh, put a right hand uh, Z1 rotor on there and a caliper. Uh, the left hand, I had used the OEM uh, caliper, but I did put a new rotor on it. There's a little bit of scratching on there. Uh, the rear, when I took the wheel off, Basically, I just scuffed the uh, rear pads. They were still in good shape, so I didn't really take them off and replace them. You're not going to use the rear brakes anyhow on this very much. If you click on the playlist that's on the end of this video, everything that I did to the bike, I documented. So basically, there's videos on replacing the clutch. So it's got a new clutch, uh, new tires, new wheel hubs. Uh, the chain's got a new OE or um, O-ring chain on it. Carbs are pretty much factory. Redid the steering damper. I did the new friction washers underneath of it. Um, again, new master cylinder for the right-hand caliper. The mirrors are factory period. It's got a lithium battery in it. Uh, starts up on the first kick, um, nine times out of 10. Every now and then you gotta kick it a couple times. For the most part, first start. Seat pan is clean, no rust on it. Uh, ignition coils are good. Uh, power test good on them, good compression. Extra spark plugs in the back. The toolkit's in there, but most likely not a factory toolkit. The uh, covers are metal, so everything is metal. It's not uh, plastic or fiberglass replacements. Uh, the side cover on the left side does have the document uh, panel in it. I replaced the right hand crank seal, so there's no oil blowing out through the right hand pipe or the, the far right pipe. Uh, nothing else seems to be leaking anywhere. It's got the chain oiler still in, intact if you want to use it. Again, the chain is a, a newer chain. It's a, I use wax on it, so I don't really use the oil on it. I'm running 75, 90 uh, transmission oil in there, synthetic. The only thing that um, is left really to do, which I'm just uh, out of time, I've got some back issues and some shoulder issues, so this bike is just not rideable for me. Uh, the carbs need tweaked a little bit. Uh, the guy I bought it from said he put his own jets in there. Uh, I haven't really had it long enough to, to mess with the jetting on it any. Uh, the only problem I ever have is when I'm running lower speeds, uh, the bike will pulse a little bit, um, as in second and third gear especially. Um, most likely that's just a carburetor adjustment. Again, uh, no guarantees on this bike, as is where it is. I was also told it has a purple haze transmission in it. Again, I did not see the transmission. I didn't see a receipt for the transmission. Uh, transmission shifts perfectly fine though. No slippage, doesn't pop out of gear anywhere. Uh, basically, uh, bike is ready to ride. Again, if you click on the playlist at the end, you can uh, watch everything that I did to the bike. Um, so you can see whether uh, you like the way I did it or not. If there's something in there you didn't like the way I did, at least you know what was done to the bike. So it's not like you're just getting a mystery container here. Again, I had this bike out on, uh, on the highway the other day, uh, 65, 70 mile an hour ride, uh, 100 miles, ran it in town. Uh, no apparent issues that I could find at all. Uh, no leaks, no weird noises. Um, should be good to go. One last thing on here is I had the center stand welded. I haven't put it back on yet. It needs a longer pin. I don't know if you can see or not, but basically the holes were kind of uh, wobbled out a little bit on there. So the bike wasn't set on the center stand correctly. So I had some hardened steel, um, basically washers made. It's a 17 millimeter hardened socket and welded to the outside edges of the eye holes. And basically now the bike, once you get the center stand on it, will lift up off the ground about an inch on the back tire. I know some of them sit on the tire. I had this one done so I could actually, you know, adjust the chain and things like that if I was going to keep the bike. So there's a the center stand. Um, let me get out here in the light where you can see. So I had a piece of bar stock welded to the front there. So it actually raised the uh, stop up a little bit. So it'll actually sit at about that angle and again you'll get about one inch off the tire the only thing you need is a center pin so the center pin is a 17 millimeter diameter this one fits almost to the outside edge of the new bushing so it's going to have to be about a quarter or half inch longer 
so it goes through the new out, outside bushings. This will be a no reserve auction, but I'm starting the auction to where it should be. Um, one in this shape um, right now is on there for, I think it was up to $20,000. Had a lot less of the OEM parts on it than this one does. Uh, I think the starting price at 15 will stop a lot of people from bidding a thousand times on the bike. It'll kind of narrow down to serious people only. Uh, this bike is not a part out bike, so uh, if you're looking for that one, um, not there. If you're looking for a bike that you're ready to ride and maybe do a couple little things to it and have fun on it, this is probably the bike for you.